What's going on, guys? It's Jeff. So I'm feeling a bit better today. Uh, I'd say I'm like 95%. I, I don't really feel really sick anymore. I feel I feel like I was recently sick, but I'm good. Look at this swirl. What do I do with this? So uh, I was waiting for this. I wa I always forget what days the store bundles come out on. We got Tagger 2, the Ultra skin. Now, I think Tagger 1 was actually a park skin, which I actually used for a period of time during the entire Dark Matter Ultra grinding process. Uh, on Cold War here. Park had a, uh, a spray painter skin that I'm pretty sure was called Tagger. This is the Ultra skin. This one's for uh, Beck, I think it is. Yeah, Beck. I mean, obviously it looks a little bit extra, you know, crazy because of the dark matter is on top of it and everything, but you can see on there that parts of the skin is actually moving. I'm not entirely sure if there are any other effects on it. Um, you can see on the background, whatever it is that's sticking out of the back, uh, it looks like on a piece of paper, like a uh, poster board or something, the paint's moving on the back, whatever the design is, uh, the paint on the little brush over there is also moving now for whatever reason you actually can't spectate up and down it tells me i can rotate up and down but it won't let me move the camera down i don't know what like the bottom half of it looks like i don't know if there's any effects on his legs or shoes or whatever so we got eastern wall 2 in ak and then we also have an xm4 called western wall 2 now, if i were to use this in warzone which i contemplated instead of being over here on uh old war obviously if you were to run this setup uh together it's probably not that i mean it could be worse it definitely could be worse i mean uh you would probably end up using the ak as like the closer range option uh more of as like a sniper support kind of role close close range probably gonna lose out uh, and then probably build the longer range XM4 just because I feel like a longer range XM4 would be better than the longer range AK as opposed to switching their places and making the XM4 the close range and then the AK the far away. It's eh. this is super nice. Now you can see the spray paint can on the uh, leg over there in the side leg pocket. I ended up missing this big brain bundle. I could have made it like a day later or whatever, but everybody had already made their videos on it everywhere. So it was just like, all right, well, I'm too late, whatever. The coolest, if not the coolest uh, Mastercraft out there and I missed it. Speed grip, that's okay. Although the vertical is going to be wild. You got the SAS mag clamp. I don't even know. Dual mag or something. Uh, yeah, this thing kind of falls under this really shitty category of not really being good at anything. Also got this painter brush which has an effect on it too uh, as it's on the side over there so that's cool Okay, I'll just go fuck myself. I mean, the carrot. Oh, this looks so good, though. This is so clean. Also, looks like Beck's beard is like sticking out of the sides or something. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if you see a ton of people running this skin, actually. This skin is. It's definitely up there as one of the coolest ones. I ran that park one for a while, and I really love the style of that whole spray paint deal. And also, I mean, uh, park honestly kind of reminds me of Alexis, my wife. So she also likes spray painting. So I just, I don't know. I really dig. We actually have a UFC event happening a little bit earlier today. By the time this video is up, definitely the prelims would have started by now, even. All right, so we got this skin here, which honestly, I mean, it looks great. We also got the uh, AK here, which always looks great. AK design-wise, it's going to be always one of the best looking weapons in the game ever. What is that reload speed? Holy shit. Terrible. He was sniping, and now you switch to an M60? That's the second time I've been stuck, man. Okay, we throw in smokes then. Since everyone wants to abuse, we throw smoke grenades so we turn your aim assist off. Hit your shots now. Yeah, man. If in real life, you could literally run through bullets to stab somebody, the world would look a whole lot different is all I'm gonna say. Cool, I don't need to throw smokes anymore. They left. Hmm. Yeah, you like spawn camping like pussy. Your dog shit. That dude dropped a whole mess of slur. Dude, it's 2021. I, I didn't watch too many of the kill cams to see how it looked from, you know, out there. But I imagine this skin is definitely not, um, it's not the most stealthy. It, it is, but it's not. Because the, uh, from what I know, the actual, uh, glow of this thing from the paint and the eyes, it actually does show through quite obviously in the darkness now over on war zone that has a different lighting thing than cold war does so the way that it looks on here might look uh, quite a bit different in the light in the dark and all that other stuff over on war zone so i'm not entirely sure how this looks in the dark 
But all I know is that orange is never gonna actually help you. The thing is, it's got a black hoodie on, but then with that black hoodie, then you also have the bright uh, orange thing with eyes and everything that people can see very clearly. Uh, people are able to recognize eyes, uh, a set of eyes, very, very well and regularly, regardless of whether it's like a human or an animal or some shit like that. So it's not really that great to have two things that are representing eyes dead center glowing. You know, they're just gonna headshot the shit out of you really easily. But, but regardless, it still looks cooler than probably most of the other skins in the game. I, I would argue that it's probably the coolest skin in the game to me. I'm not an artist. I don't paint. I don't spray paint. I don't do none of that shit. But this shit is cool. It just is. I'm not used to using the uh, speed grip or anything that only reduces the horizontal recoil. So it's a little weird. Yeah, there's no way. How did I know this guy would not move a single inch? Nothing going on. The main event of the UFC card is uh, Cyril Gon versus Alexander Volkov. It's not going to be super hyped. It's just a regular fight night, not a pay-per-view, I think. Cyril Gon is one of the most exciting, uh, up-and-coming, rising heavyweights. Got great striking, switches stances, good kickboxing. Seems like his kickboxing is at a pretty high level. Uh, has trained with Francis Ngannou, the current champion. As we know, his ridiculous knockout power and size and strength and everything else that he had. Oh my god, that was ambitious. Uh, Cyril Gon, he's got like this move set and this this skill set at a heavyweight that I, I imagine you could become a champion with. I, I really do. He's got power, he's got size, he doesn't have like a bunch of crazy like knockout one punch finishes and stuff like that, but you can tell the guy has power. He's definitely a big dude. He ain't small by any means. You know he's got power, but he's more of a technical striker. Rosenstreich, who is also a, uh, you know, a good technical striker in the heavyweight division, he's got, you know, more than just hand knockout power stuff like that he actually has some technique to the striking and Cyril when he fought him although a lot of people said it was boring Cyril completely basically dominated him he basically outclassed he was able to out kickbox a great kickboxer in Rosenstruck and now he's going to be fighting Alexander Volkov who is also a great kickboxer which is another challenge for Cyril Gon to see if you know he's at that level but also Alexander Volkov is going to be around the same size if not bigger than uh Cyril Gon so we'll see if Cyril is really as good as you know he was looking there against Rosenstreich or if it was really like a size thing. We'll see how he deals with, you know, maybe not being at a size advantage. See how it is at either a disadvantage or a similar size. Fighters like John Jones, for example, ended up looking a little bit different when they ended up fighting people that were around or close to his size. In comparison to the people that were smaller than him anyway. It, the fights looked a lot different. They all ended up basically the same, but they looked very different. I think Cyril Gunn honestly has the uh, potential to become a champion. I really do. I, I think overall his skill set, he would be a complete heavyweight champion. Champion. Which, I mean, arguably, you could say Stipe was and everything like that. He could wrestle, he knew defense, he knew offense, he could knock you out, he could do all sorts of shit if he needed to. And he would be able to listen and adapt game plan-wise, IQ, all that other shit. So I'm hoping that Cyril is going to be able to actually have that shit. Honestly, I'm getting used to this setup here. Um, yeah, no way could this setup actually work over in Warzone. Just set up on default anyway. Now, I've also noticed that the, uh, the white and the black parts of this, uh, outfit thing, they actually change. This kind of reminds me of, like, a cell shot shaded outline slash shadow effect on the skin. It's weird. If you go and look at my leg right here, even when I'm turning and moving, you can see it's either changing or it's more like iridescent from a certain angle. Actually uh, be white and then turn to like an iridescent black. That shit wasn't fun at all. I, I got no word. Yeah, I mean, the skin's cool. The, the weapons are kind of, you know, whatever they look cool, they, they oh, fit, it's stylistic and everything. Uh, but past that, I mean, the, the setups themselves are usually not good. Most of the bundles usually don't have good, uh, you know, uh, weapon setups anyway, so. It's probably the coolest in the game. Yeah, I'd say.